Welcome to Buffy Bee's Deals YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making some banana nut muffins. I'm kind of using the cheat, I'm using the Pillsbury Quick Bread. On the back, it gives you a way to make this into muffins. So it says one cup of milk, which I will use, half a cup of oil. I'm going to use a cup of melted butter instead, and two eggs, which I will use. So, let's get started. I burn two sticks of butter in the Instapot. I don't know if you can see that or not. And it's got a little bit of brown in there. So I'm going to pour it out. It's kind of hard to see. I'll give you a close up so I get it out. supposed to get all the brown bits out too. Now I set it for 10 minutes but I got to burn all this so I let it go I don't know another minute or two and then finally I just turned it off and checked it because you don't put anything else in there no water or anything only thing in there was the two sticks of butter one cup of butter. And you're supposed to get it out as soon as the 10 minutes are up. Or if you're doing it on the stove, so then you start seeing any brown bits. So, I don't know if you can see this or not. It's kind of hard to see, but there's the brown bits. And this again is supposed to cool for 20 minutes. I'm going to add the quick bread mix. And it says to combine everything, so I'm going to combine everything. Here's the two eggs. Milk. I'm gonna do a splash more because you never get all the milk out of the container. Here's my melted butter a cup. And I'm using melted butter because that will give these muffins a cake-like consistency and it should be moist. Just like when I do the same when I bake a bundt cake or any kind of cake from a cake mix, I use melted butter. down the sides, make sure everything's getting incorporated. It smells good. It smells like banana nut bread. I'm also going to add some pecans. I know typically you put walnuts, but I like pecans instead. And all I did was I took some pecan halves and used my kitchen hammer tool to beat them into pieces. And that's pretty much it. 
we're going to pour into muffin tins they said prepare 12 muffin tins and then it says to I'm using a dark coated pan set the oven at 375 which I've already done and we are to let's see bake them mm, 15 to 20 minutes and I'm looking out here they didn't use a stand mixer they give you instructions for hand mixing I got a stand mixer so I'm going to use a stand mixer I see my attachment wants to come off. I wonder why it's not on there. I wonder why. Well, it stayed on long enough to mix. I almost forgot. I bought a couple bananas and I let them get overripe. The darker, the more overripe, the sweeter they become. So I've been told. So I'm going to mash these up. And I'm going to add them to it just to give it a more banana flavor. I'll be back once they've been mashed up and I'm adding them. Okay, I mashed up the two bananas and I just used my meat masher. Couldn't find my like potato masher. I'm not sure where it is, but don't worry, this was clean. Just like my hands were clean before I came in the kitchen. Make sure everything you use is clean before you start cooking. All your utensils, your hands. The oven. I had already taken the other attachment off, so I got another one to put on there. So let's add this to the mix. Make sure my bowl's on there. smell it smells so good now it smelled good before but now it smells really really good make sure the bottom is all gathered up and mixed in now a real We'll really meet you over at the stove as I start scooping this into the muffin pans. Okay, I'm back. Transfer it to my bigger pan. Okay, I'm gonna keep filling these. I think this will do it. Four spots. Four. They are in the oven, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it, and then I'm going to set it for 15 minutes, and then I will check it for doneness. Timer. 
Because again, the instructions said 15 to 20 minutes. I'll be back once they're done. Thanks. It's been two more minutes. It's brown. So I'm going to do a test, see if it comes out clean. And it is. Let me get a clean tissue and try a couple more. It's clean. We'll do one more. Okay. So it took 19 minutes. I did 15, then two, and two. So turn that off. Now we'll let them cool. Oops. Before we enjoy. They look good. They smell good too. These are really good. And look, you can tell it's moist. <coughs> This is really good. Wow. Make these. These are the bomb. Bye, peeps. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, leave a comment. Have a good one. Yeah.